So let's start with Psalm 5. Uh, Jenny, can you give me a hand with that? Yeah. Okay. Um, give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my crying, my King and my God, for to you I make my prayer. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning, I make my appeal to you and look up. For you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness. No evil can dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those that work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful, the Lord will uphold. As for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no truth in their mouth. In their heart is destruction, their throat is an open sepulchre, and they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O God. Let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out your joy forever. You will shout to them, so that those who love your name may exalt in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. And with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. Glory to the Father and to the Son and, and to the God Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and shall be forever. Hello, Basola, welcome. Hello, Martin. Lovely Hello. to see you. Hi, it's nice to see everyone. Good to see you too. Thank you. In your lovely you. pink outfit, I love that. <laughs> Thank you, I just came back from a walk. Thank My daughter you. keeps telling me, you know, that I've got to wear more colourful clothes. <laughs> oh, I agree with her. <laughs> there was one vicar that used to have multicoloured uh, vicar shirts, especially made. Well, uh, anyway, well, watch out. Maybe I will. Um, OK, so, Basola, would you like to read the Isaiah passage? For us? Yes, please. How the faithful city has become a whole. She, she that was full of justice, righteousness, lodged in her, but now murderers. Your silver has become, a, has become dross. Your wine is mixed with water. Your princes are rebels and companions of thieves. Everyone loves a bribe and runs after gifts. They do not defend the orphans and the widow's cost does not come before them. Therefore says the sovereign, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel. Ha, I will pour out my wrath on my enemies and avenge myself on my foes. I will turn my hand against you. I will smelt away your dross as with lie and remove all your alloy. I will restore your judges as at the first and your counselors as at the beginning. Afterwards, you shall be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed by justice, and those in her will repent by righteousness. But rebels and sinners shall be destroyed together, and those who forsake the Lord shall be consumed. For you shall be ashamed of the oaks in which you delighted, and you shall blush for the gardens that you have chosen. For you shall be like an oak whose leaves withers, and like a garden without water. The strong shall become like tinder, and their work like a spark. They and their work shall burn together with no one to quench them. Oh dear, that doesn't sound very good, does it? Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. The fate of the faithless. Hmm. All right, uh, so let's scroll down and we'll read the passage from Matthew, which is um, a lovely passage. Um, Leslie, would you like to read that for us? Yes, uh, Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 15. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, Wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened 
and all Jerusalem with him, calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people. He inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay homage. When they had heard the king, they set out. <coughs> and there, ahead of him, went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Now after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you, for Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Out of Egypt, I have called my son. Thank you. Um, yeah, familiar passage. Um, not usually a passage we read um, outside of Christmas, but um, or Epiphany. Um, but um, yeah. Um, Matthew trying to show us that um, you know Jesus is uh, born not just for the Jewish people but for the whole world yeah, yeah. And with these um, non-Jewish magi coming from afar to worship him yeah Any thoughts? It showed that they were diligent. They knew the um, Messiah was coming. They obviously knew the scripture. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, let's um, scroll down then. Um, I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your name. Your faithful name. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever. Of your love, o Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall My lips proclaim, proclaim your, your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness <coughs> go before you. I will sing I will forever, forever of your love, love O Lord. My lips My shall proclaim your, your faithfulness. You've been thinking about justice and righteousness, haven't we, on Sundays? And um, it's a wonderful verse from Psalm 89 there. Mm -hmm. Righteousness mm -hmm. and justice are the foundation of your throne. Mm -hmm. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. Great. All right. Let's pray then. <coughs> Lord, uh, we thank you for a day that looks very beautiful. Um, and we do on All Souls Day, remember the faithful departed. Um, so just take a moment of silence to bring to mind loved ones who have died. Lift to you especially um, Philip Evans who died 
on Sunday for Linda, his wife, and whole family. Your comfort and strength, Lord. Give us courage and hope and comfort for those who mourn. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Also lift to you those who've asked for prayer for healing and wholeness. Norna Adipita, Charlie Benson, Jenny Figaro here with us today, Rob Gaysford, Christopher and Vivian Golis, Evelyn Hanna, Sean Hunt, John and Pilar Irvin, Pete Jadhav, Dagmar Yankovikova, Maureen Kelly, Anna Lee, Hilary Ward, and the friends, well, let me pray for that. Um, and also for uh, John Walton and uh, Dia Sharma and Nicholas Thompson. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, I play, pray for guidance and direction. Yes. for discernment and moderation in my thoughts and those of those around me. And I pray especially for my sister and the operation that she is to have today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Lord, I thank you for this day. I give you praise. I give you glory. I thank you for the life of, uh, of my family friend, I know a show that I passed on on Friday. I thank you for as many lives that he touched, oh Lord. I thank you for the testimonies of people about him, oh Lord. I thank you for his family, his wife, and his two boys. I pray, Lord, that you grant Titi the comfort to bear the loss, and you would help the children, you give them courage, oh Lord, at this time. Father, we thank you even as they prepare um, the funeral for next week, next Friday. Lord, that we ask, oh Lord, that you guide the people, the committee that have been set up to do the preparation and give them, guide them in their thoughts, oh Lord, and help them to achieve a good, um, um, to arrive at a good decision. Thank you, Heavenly Lord. Thank you. We pray. I pray this morning for everyone morning. The Lord, you give us grace. You give us courage in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for this new day. Thank you for your love. And thank you, Lord, for your watch care and your protection and provision for us. Lord, as we go through this day, I pray, Lord, that we will truly reflect your glory. And thank you, Lord, for sending your son so that we could achieve this because of your grace. Thanking you, Lord, for all your for all your benefits towards us, Lord. And we look forward and in anticip anticipation of your blessings for today so that we could share with others. This is my prayer in with Thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Eternal God, our maker and redeemer, grant us with all the faithful departed the sure benefits of your son's saving passion and glorious resurrection that in the last day, when you gather up all things in Christ, we may with them enjoy the fullness of your promises through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. So uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, Father in heaven hallowed, hallowed be your, your name. name. Your kingdom come, your, 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 your will be done on earth. On earth, today, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy for the kingdom, power, and the glory of your God, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen.
Um, just to say, Bisola, I did read, we had a service of remembrance for loved ones who died on Sunday night, and I did read CJ's name. Thank you very uh, much. Because I knew Thank you would want me to. Yeah. Thank you. Thank uh, you. I lost a family started. friend of, I just lost a family friend of mine. Mm. Sorry to hear that. Very close, very close family friend. Mm. So I'll mm. send the name of the wife mm. and the children to you so that we can just put them in prayer. On the prayer list. Totally. Absolutely. We'll do. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone, have a lovely day. Have a good day. Bye. 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 Bye